Hi well, everyone, Mark Chess here and welcome to the channel and today I have a different background right now because I'm still currently in some province um, taking a break and when I woke up I found some news about a sneaker, a signature sneaker that has some details released already and I know a lot of people are excited like me for this sneaker because honestly on the first edition of this sneaker I wasn't too happy or too impressed and if you want to watch the full performance review of that sneaker, I'll be putting up the link down in the description below. So today, we are going to talk about the Zoom Freak 2, the signature sneaker of Giannis Antetokounmpo. I hope I got that right. So let's start talking about the sneaker. So let's discuss the sneaker from top to bottom. For the upper of the sneaker, they used a mesh material which is fused on the areas that needs to be fused and I'm quite happy about that because I love mesh material although it's not the most premium material but it does its job and it is very breathable so I really like that especially here in a tropical country where the weather is usually hot I like a mesh upper and it is fused like what Ross Klein the designer said it is fused in the right areas since Giannis is a very powerful and shifty player he likes doing his side steps a lot with a lot of power and strength so the mesh is fused heavily so I like this about the sneaker and as you can see here in the sneaker the swoosh is not reversed already but is exaggerated it is really big and what also what the Nike team also does with the swoosh is it's not just for design it is also used as a support laterally. The second lace loop goes through the swoosh. When you tighten the laces, especially around the forefoot area, it will really pull the swoosh near your foot and gives you a very nice one-to-one -one feel and extra support, especially on the lateral part. And there are two significant TPU plates that you can see in the Freak 2. As for this image, it has two green TPU plates and it is separated and what Ross Klein describe it and the reason why he made it like this is give a little flex in between the two TPU plate especially when you're doing sidestep or lateral movements and as for the TPU plate it is heavily exaggerated it's really big and of course it is really made for Giannis and a lot of powerful shifty player will surely love the sneaker because I think the sneaker will really be very supportive especially around the lateral part of the sneaker and going to the back side of the sneaker where you can see the white part it is made out of leather I'm not sure if it's real leather or synthetic leather but it is leather otherwise and as you know leather is very supportive and I'm really digging the materials that they are using especially for the support aspect of the Freak 2 and for the tongue of the Freak 2 it is a traditional tongue which I have no problems with that. A traditional tongue lacing system is very easy to wear. It is tried and tested already, so I don't have any problems with the traditional tongue lacing system. And actually, I really like it. And moving on to the heel part of the sneaker, there is an internal TPU plate for ankle support and protection and heel containment. And also the leather will give you extra heel containment. Another thing that will help in the heel containment and ankle support is of course exaggerated cushion around the heel and now moving on to the best part of the freak 2 as you know guys that is the downside that i had with the freak 1 i really didn't like this cushion setup that much on the freak 1 it has a heel zoom unit which i think has no purpose especially for my style of play i really like the zoom unit to be placed around the forefoot area of the sneaker when especially when you are jumping you really use that zoom unit in the forefoot instead of the heel where you don't really do heel strike for jumping and when you're landing and with the Freak 2 they move the zoom unit up in the forefoot area although it is not the biggest zoom unit out in the market I think it's as big as the PG3s and the Jordan 1 take I just wish that Nike would give it a bigger zoom unit since Giannis is a bigger player compared to PG which PG has a smaller zoom unit in the forefoot and he doesn't play as rough or as powerful as Giannis. I just wish that Nike would make the zoom it bigger. But I know what Nike's direction is. Maybe if they made a new mold for the zoom in it, the cost will be higher 
and they would put the Zoom Freak 1 in a higher price category and they would put the Zoom Freak 2 in a higher price category which Giannis doesn't want. He wants his sneaker to be affordable really on the lower side of the price tag. And another upgrade I think on the Freak 2 because on the Freak 1 the cushion or the phylon wasn't that soft and what the designers from Nike said that the cushion especially on the heel part of the Freak 2's is thick and it is very plush for impact protection especially making it for the style of play of Giannis. And as for the midfoot, there's a midfoot shank which is just a mini plate and I think it will do its job and also what Nike promised is right off the box you don't need to break in the shoe anymore and you will feel the sneaker to be ready to go. And another thing that I think they made a huge improvement on the Freak 2 is they exaggerated the lateral outrigger of the Freak 2 compared to the Freak 1's. Although the Freak 1's has a very good lateral outrigger but they exaggerated a bit on the Freak 2's which I really like because I really like a very stable sneaker. So another thumbs up for Nike for that. Another thing that I forgot to touch up since I mentioned the 4 foot zoom unit of the Freak 2's is the Freak 2 zoom unit in the 4 foot doesn't have cushion wrapping around it on top and bottom so the bottom part of the zoom unit is touching the outsole of the sneaker while on top it's just the insole touching the zoom unit so you will really feel the zoom unit below your foot and as for the outsole of the Freak 2's it is a decoupled outsole and if you know me I really like a decoupled outsole sneaker similar to the Why Not line and the traction pattern around the forefoot area of the outsole is a spiral traction and what Nike said is it made the, and what Nike said is they made the sneaker for outdoor use and indoor use so I guess they are using hard rubber for the outsole of the Freak 2's and as for the heel outsole of the Zoom Freak 2 there's a little bit of storytelling to it it has a map like pattern or a road map it is a symbol on Yanis journey from childhood to now to the NBA from staying in a very small apartment with his brothers and families and now having his own house providing for his family I guess it is a nice storytelling but I hope that the traction is really really good and another reason they made it at the coupled outsole is Giannis is a very shifty player and he likes his sneaker to bend more compared to the Zoom Freak 1 so for a very powerful and shifty player like Russell Westbrook Giannis has the same style of play like Russell Westbrook but a bigger player so the coupled outsole will surely fit the sneakers and another easter egg given by Nike is when you are looking from the heel part or the heel position of the sneaker where you can see the freak name in the heel tab of the sneaker when you look at it from the heel position and when you move the lateral outrigger a bit you will see the writing freak with the number two sign on the lateral outrigger so that's what they said so i'm really hoping to get my hands on the freak too soon so i'm excited to play with these i hope the courts will open up here in manila and the cost of the Freak 2's is 120 US dollars so that's about 6,000 pesos so pretty much similar to the Freak 1's uh, the Freak 1's was 5,800 here in the Philippines before I hope that they still retain their price point of the Freak 2's so those are my thoughts on the Freak 2's let me know what you think about the sneaker are you excited like me? hit me a comment down below thank you again for watching this video guys I appreciate you if you haven't subscribed yet please do so and thank you again for watching peace